Hi, it's Gareth from Port Monkeys, and today we're on the Norwegian Pearl cruise ship. We're standing in what they call the Crystal Atrium. It's the center of the ship. Um, a lot of activities go on around here. It has a bar, a jewelry store, the service desk. You can make restaurant reservations over there. It's got Future Cruise, Shore Excursion, and the art gallery is down there. But we're going to head down to Deck 4 to begin our tour. So, see you in a few. We are on Deck 4 midship in the elevator lobbies. Stairs. Four elevators. There's three of them. Four, aft, and midship. But anyway, we're on deck four, and the only thing down here is the medical center. Which is right here. We are now on deck six, and we are all the way in the front of the ship, so forward on deck six. Uh, and the only thing forward here is the Stardust Theater, and you can enter on either side. Both sides are the same. They have all these mirrors. So, it's pretty fun to walk down here. It's pretty glittery. You can also enter the theater on deck seven. It's a really tall theater. You see up there, way up there, there's balcony areas, both sides. We entered the theater on the port side. We're going to exit on the starboard side, right side of the ship. Hi. Hmm? Uh, oh, I'm just walking through. Um, right there. Go that way? Yeah. Okay. So they don't want me to videotape in here, but he didn't stop me. This is the casino course. And it has a lot of machines, but most of them are fairly old. Although it has some new ones too. And a bar. We're on the starboard side of deck six. And we find ourselves in Magnum's Champagne and Wine Bar. Also the home of Le Bistro. So I've gone into Le Bistro and they've covered up the settings. But it's the French restaurant, cost extra that you hear, right next to Le Bistro is the Corona Cigar Club. This is where you can go to smoke and watch TV. So it's fairly smoky in here, always. And they do sell cigars. It's kind of hard to walk in there. That stairway leads up to deck seven and it's the uh, sushi bar and the noodle bar or restaurant, they call it. This is Magnum Champagne Wine Bar. Now, it might look like it's the same bar, but notice the color changes, and you're in Shaker's Martini and Cocktail Bar. And then, notice the bar changes again in color, even though they're very close together. And now you're in Maltings beer and whiskey bar. Indigo. This is one of the main restaurants. You don't have to pay to eat in here. And then walk through. Everything's covered waiting for dinner. This place is only open at dinner. So this is the Summer Palace restaurant. It's the other main dining room. And it looks like a, a Russian Summer Palace. So that's Summer Palace restaurant. Down on six. We're back on seven. We're in the aft elevator lobby. And this is the entrance to the Bliss Ultra Lounge. Bliss Ultra Lounge. 
So, you know, there's dancing and music in here, but they also have events in here and trivia. They also have a bowling alley and slot machines. That I didn't know. I just learned that this moment. They have slot machines here. But they have this bowling alley. It's pretty dark in here. Sorry. Dance floor. It actually has some beds. You see that? That's a bed. And a bar, of course. And another bowling alley on the other side. Oh, so it's got four lanes. From here we can go forward. And only forward. Or we could go outside. So here's outside. Now on this ship, you can go all the way around the ship. All the way around. So that's the rear of the ship, the aft. So the sound may not be very good. good. And there's our weight. So now we've just crossed from port to starboard, the right side of the ship. And over here, aft, on the starboard side, is a smoking area. Also, two and third, two thirds laps. Two and two thirds laps equal one mile. So we can walk all the way up, go around the front of the ship. In the front, you can't see out. It's all steel enclosed. It's where the theater is. So we came in from the promenade on deck seven. And this is the photo gallery. And eventually, they're going to open these things up and the pictures they took of you on this cruise would be there. And there's a lot of panels to open. And there's a lot of photos already out here. And they sell cameras. And they, you can get these things made. So now we're entering the Crystal Atrium, which is where we began. So we're midship deck seven. You can make your dining reservations here. This is your guest services desk. And this will bring us port information. Some pictures and facts about the ship. And what they call the art gallery. Sometimes they do the auctions here. Sometimes they do them in some other place. Ooh. And the internet cafe which is two, four, six, eight computers. Although everyone's got their own device now. This uh, over here is shore excursions. There's always a line. We booked a shore excursion for tomorrow. We're gonna ride UTVs. The Future Cruise Consultant, they have the deal on NCL where if you spend a certain amount of money, you get shipboard credit now. This is the shopping consultant. She has hours too. So if you have a shopping question. This is the Java Cafe, but they have liquor there too. And they call this the Crystal Atrium. Up there is Ocean's Bar and Grill. Let's go up. I guess this is why they call it the Crystal Atrium. I never looked up until just this moment. Ocean's Bar and Grill. It's like an Irish pub, we'll call it. They're open 24-7. Every day, every hour, in the morning they serve breakfast, in the afternoon lunch, and in the evening dinner. Although dinner and lunch might be the same menu. It's a hidden gem on NCL, I think. I think it's underused, although if more people knew about it, it would probably be a lot more crowded. We just went up those stairs to O'Shean's Bar and Grill, and walked around and came back down. I just wanted to show you that on deck seven here now, you can't go any further on the port side. You have to go over to starboard. Chicago? I don't know. Yeah, the ones that you want to see are big, but we have the And here we have the Lotus Garden. So, 
in there is tepanyaki. So Japanese hibachi style, like Benihana. That costs, I think, $30 a person, fixed. Here's the stairway from the bistro and the champagne, martini, and whiskey bars. Are there. So there's a sake bar. There's what's called the Lotus Garden. That's included. So it's, some might call it a noodle bar. And then there's a sushi bar there. Sushi is a la carte. We're heading forward on deck seven, starboard side. And we come to trade winds. These are the stores, and they're all closed this early in the morning. But they actually have a lot of stores in this ship. There's the one selling liquor and perfume, because they go together so well. Which brings us to the very front of the ship, the Stardust Theater again. So that's the entrance, it's closed. We already went through there. But it takes up six, seven, and eight. But I don't think you can get to it from eight. We're up on deck 11 now. We skipped nine and 10. We saw Sheehan's on eight. Other than that, there are just staterooms. And this is just staterooms on 11, except it has the bridge view in your room. So we're gonna walk out there and take a look. See it up ahead. So it says over there, no photography, so. But that's the bridge here in your room. You can come up here, and relax, and watch them steer the boat. We're up on deck 12 now. Over on this side is the Mandara Spa and Salon. So if you need some spa stuff done, these are the people to do it. Good morning to you. And it's quite extensive back there. And the Pulse Fitness Center. So on NCL, you don't have to cut through the spa to get to the fitness center like on uh, Princess. So you got your people working out, got your free weights, got your machines, treadmills. Over here, on the starboard side, you have the library. That's kind of a big place. Can you selfie without me, really? I might be out of the video. This is me and the entire cruise staff, hard at work. This is the photo studio where you can pay extra and get fancy pictures taken up here. They also have a card room which I guess you could call a game room. Notice the games. So we're on deck 12, remember? They're giving pool massages for $25. It's got the main pool, they call that, and that pool. And I'm not sure what they call that pool. Now, a lot of people out here already. It's only 8.30. A lot of lounge chairs. Probably a lot of them saved by people who got up early and then went back to bed. This is the other pool, which they call the main pool also. Got some hot tubs. Here they have breakfast in the morning, hamburgers and hot dogs at lunchtime. And a bar. I believe this is called Top Ciders. Yeah, see the sign? This is the kids' pool area, and the kids' area is back there. So they can watch you, and you could watch them, I guess, if they were out here swimming. This is the Garden Cafe. It's the buffet. And it's pretty busy now, because it's 8.30. Good morning! Uh, uh, come on. Anyway, he plays music there. And this is the food. And it's a fairly big, well-organized buffet. And the food's good. Remember, we're heading aft on the starboard side of deck 12. Coffee. So the buffet inside is called the Garden Cafe. 
Then they have another one out here, which we call the Great Outdoors, because we are in fact outdoors. And they have some of the same stuff, not quite the selection that they do inside. In the mornings, like now, you can go into La Cucina and eat. By the way, we've crossed over to the port side. In the evenings, though, this becomes La Cucina Italian restaurant, which is a la carte. Let's just cut back through La Cucina. And we're going to cut over to this stairway. But we're going up now to deck 13. Some ships don't have deck 13. Princess doesn't have a 13. They go from 12 to 14. I think Royal Caribbean does have a 13. And this is the jogging track this red down here. Let's go this way a minute. We're going to go up here. So we're now going up to deck 14 where they have a rock climbing wall. I have not done it yet on this ship. it into that target. Now we're going up to another helipad. Inside there is the Haven. See that? We've crossed from starboard back to port. There's the rock climbing wall. We're going to go on deck 13. One mile is five and a half laps of this red. I think we have shuffleboard. Sugarcane mojito bar. That's mojito bar, and that's Moderno over there. It's Cagney's. And they're probably doing breakfast for the rich and famous too. Although it doesn't look like. So this is Cagney's Steakhouse, and you might be lucky enough to sit on a couch. So let's drop back down to deck 12 so you can experience him singing I want to hold your hand maybe there you go. And this of course is deck 12 aft this is the entrance to entourage and splash academy the video arcade the kids areas Let's check this out. Video games. Air hockey. Foosball. More video games. A nice pretty drawing of the ship. A cool padded area. I think we've entered the other kids room for the younger kids where they have these and these people that are busy with something I'm not sure what bathrooms how are you guys doing where are all the kids ah and I'm great, by the way. Thank you. More room. Not yet. Pool's closed. They don't want me to go out here, but I'm going to. And there's the main pools right outside there. So, 
guppies, six months to three years old. It says, Splash Academy, no diaper changing in the guppies' playroom. We're up to this bar, and I'm out here because it's called the Sky Hat Bar, and the sign is right there. It's like a balloon theme, and they're not open today. We're on the starboard side of deck 13. Actually, let's go up to sun deck, deck 14. And you'll notice nobody's up here today. Of course, it's only 8.30 on a sea day. Well, it's not actually sea day. We get into port at noon today. Crossing back over to port, there's this big shower thing. I guess that's for kids, but I really don't know. And eventually, all these chairs will be laid out all over here. This is on deck 14. But this is all this is. We're back down on what I'm going to call deck 14. I hope that's right because that's 13 and the pool is on 12. This is one place you can get to the front of the ship. It does have a glass shield on it. Down on deck 7 on the outdoor promenade. In the front of the ship it's all shielded. You can't see out. It's steel. The hull, whatever, down there. So we're on deck 13. See that? And that brings us to Spinnaker Lounge. This is one of those lounges where they do everything. Dancing, bingo, trivia, has a bar, stage. Got a customer. So I've walked from Starboard to Port here is the chapel. It's just named Chapel. And that's it. Chapel. I have to say, that's the Norwegian Pearl. I'm Gareth from Port Monkeys. And Port Monkeys out. See you on the high seas. Bye. Thank you.